Hello and welcome to the first edition of Jock Talk with your host, Dante Constable. Joining me today is head football coach of the Raiders, Coach Scott Park. Thank you for joining me today. So coming into the season, what were your expectations? Uh, well, I thought we could uh, come in. I thought we had a lot of talent returning from last year. I thought uh, we could be very successful uh, with what we had coming back and uh, with some of the younger guys moving up from the junior high. Uh, and then we were able to add a couple coaching additions that really helped change the complex and uh, complexity of the offense and stuff, which was really a big plus. Yeah, absolutely. Um, who are some of the players um, that make the big plays? I know you have a lot of a lot of playmakers there, offensively and defensively. Uh, well, uh, we'll start on the offensive side of the ball. There, I mean, I think uh, you know, Brian Dork is a big part of our offense. You know, he's leading the the district in receiving yards, and he's uh, uh, first in double A in the state in uh, receiving yards and touchdown passes. He's, you know, so, I mean, there was a lot of, you know, he, he's a big part of it. Uh, but we're also blessed with the fact that when people, when teams focus on him, that we have Nick Kaff and Gabe Park and Ian Thrush and Kyle McBeth. I mean, so there's a lot of talent there. And then, we, then we'll move over to the running part of it. Brandon McGrainer, I thought, has had a really good year. He's just shy of 1,000 yards. And, you know, and I think he's been running the ball hard. And he's one of those guys that has worked really hard the last two years to get to where he is right now. And then probably the probably the, the piece that we were missing the last couple of years was uh, you know the quarterback position. And Jack Krug is a freshman that stepped in there and has just done a great job running the offense and uh, you know his athleticism and stuff like that. And it's just it's just been good as far as the offense. It's been fun on the offense side of the ball. On the defense side of the ball, uh, I think you got to take a look at John Frank at DN. You know he's. Uh, 15 sacks on the year. Uh, I think he has like three safeties, two were in the St. one quarter. So, I mean, he's been playing at a high level. Uh, we, uh, on a defensive side of the ball, I think we got to talk about Trenton Gilhausen and, and uh, Tyler Park, an inside linebacker. They weren't inside linebackers to start the year. So they had to learn that position. And I think over the course of the year, they've really gotten good. And I think that's really why the second part of the season, our defense has really played a lot better. So, uh, and then we, our defenses and our DBs are blessed with a lot of uh, depth back there, so we've been able to rotate people in and out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, with Krug being a freshman and all, did you expect what um, he's done this year? Did you really expect that out of him, or were you thinking of some lags with him being a freshman? Uh, well, yeah, I think, you're the, I think you always have some <clears throat> uh, hesitancies when you're, you're dealing with freshmen or whatever, but I, I give Jack... Uh, Credit that you know, he spent a lot of time in the spring and the summer with Coach Verichetti to to learn the ins and outs of the offense. He's put a lot of time. He studies a lot of film and stuff. So I mean, <clears throat> and I think the first game, you know, there was a lot of unknowns going in that game at Warren and stuff. And I, he showed up and played. I mean, he definitely didn't play like a freshman. And and you know, and he's made very few mistakes. I mean, he's made some freshman mistakes, but you're going to have that. But nothing like you know you could have had stuff. So a lot of credit goes to him. With the time he's been putting in, and he's also blessed. The other thing is he's he's blessed with a lot of talent around him. You know, it's you know he's not it's not like he has to generate all the offense. You know, he's got a lot of talent that is uh, there for him to find and hit and stuff. So, absolutely, thanks, coach. We're gonna take a short break, and we'll be back after this important message. I am Papa Bear, Fairy Godmother, Tiger Lily, Sugar Plum Fairy, Pinocchio, the Big Bad Wolf. Dragon, third little pig. Sure, make yourself. Pied Piper, donkey. <laughs> Peter Pan. Teen Fiona. <laughs> Young Fiona. Second little pig. Ugly duckling. Hi everyone, my name is Deanna Owens and I am the vocal director of this year's musical, Shrek. This year we are celebrating the past, the present, and the future. It's the big 50th year um, anniversary musical and we have so many surprises for anybody who comes in. Watches. Shrek is basically a mesh of all famous fairy tales, but with a spin on them. It is a lot different than other musicals that we're doing because it's not necessarily traditional. The idea of musical, for me at least, is really important because it's kind of like your second family. This is honestly the best cast ever. We have over 70 people in, just from, from the high school in the cast. Let your free flag fly! Welcome back to Jock Talk. I'm still here with uh, head football coach, Coach Scott Park. So, Coach Park, we were just talking about um, 
how the team has came so far along this year and after last year. Um, how, how was last year, trying to coach up the team last year? It was a pretty rough season last year compared to this year. Yeah, I mean, you, it's, it has a lot to do with the, the, the chemistry of the team and stuff, and that's the biggest thing from, I think, the years, my first two years is the chemistry on this team is so much, so much better. It's, you know, it's, it's a fun group of kids. They like to have fun. They know when to be business-like. They know when they can be joking around and stuff, and, and we've got a great rapport with the coaching staff, and it's kind of the same way with us coaching staff. You know, we're... We have fun with each other, and we have fun with the players and stuff like that. So it's just, it's just it's kind of one of those things where it has a lot to do with the chemistry. Absolutely. Um, so you have Clarion this Friday in the first round of the playoffs. Um, how do you bounce back after the first time you met them where they beat you up pretty well on your home, um, home field, 58-22? to 22. How do you prepare your defense to um, turn that around? Well, first off, in that game we made, we, we made a lot of mistakes as far as, like, uh, lining up and stuff. We, once we watched the game film and stuff, I think the players understood that how important it was to make sure people were, were where they were supposed to be and stuff like that. So that was one part of it. And then since that time, we've put in uh, different uh, different f defensive fronts to help try to keep the pressure off the linebackers. And what I mean by that is to keep the linemen, defensive linemen from trying to get f uh, clean blocks on our linebackers. And that has been really effective the last four or five games as far as the different fronts and stuff. So, I mean, we got we got to be ready to go, and, I mean, we got to be physical. I mean, Raps, Raps a big physical fullback or running back, and we got to be ready for the challenge and step up and, and hit some people. Absolutely. You feel if you can stop the run game that you guys can um, get the W here? Yeah, I, I feel confident with – with the progression that we've made since that third week with Clarion, I, th I really think that uh, we have an opportunity to do something special Friday night. I mean, we're not the same team that we were Friday night or that first game against Clarion. Uh, our, we got more of the offense in. Uh, we hadn't cut Jack Krug loose yet as far as running the ball and stuff. So, I mean, there's, there's, a, lot, there's a lot of different aspects going into this game that we have that we didn't have going into the Clarion first time. Yeah, absolutely. How is that running aspect for Krug? How does that um, make your offense better? Well, it's just that's another aspect the defense has to worry about. You know, they just can't drop back and worry about the th the, the passes. You know, and stuff. They got to worry about Jack tucking and running. And Jack's a pretty good runner and he's got good speed. So I mean, it's definitely a threat that that opposing defenses have to worry about. Well, Coach Park, I want to thank you for joining me today, and good luck this Friday night against Clarion as um, I'll be cheering you on. Well, TV18 News and BASD, this was your first edition of Jock Talk with Dante Constable. Have a great Blue Raider day.